I'm Judith Carr. I draw mug. Action. I never really thought I'd see Mog in 3D. The original Mog, I think, never, never thought that would happen to her. I'd always wanted a cat, and I was absolutely staggered by what they were like. There were so many things that surprised me that I thought I'd do a picture book just about the things this cat did, who was called Mog. She was always a little bit wild. Mog's one of the nation's best-loved literary characters. Um, I've got two young children, and I remember reading Mog to them as part of that bedtime routine. The idea is very much um, like last year, about Christmas is for sharing. We wanted to do something that really brought families together at Christmas, and we think Mog is a perfect character to do that. The process of bringing Mog from the page onto the screen was a fascinating one. What you've got to remember is when we shot this film, in the set, there's nothing there. You're filming something, you're imagining a cat jumping from one side of the table to the other, and then process by process through these building blocks, suddenly this thing, Mog, is from nothing, is created and put into the scene. So it's an extraordinary kind of magic in a way. The development of Mog then started again once we'd shot, and then it becomes weeks, months of gently getting the animation to the correct place, physically, emotionally, and emotionally being, to some extent, the trickiest part. Finding the right level that James wants out of this character's face. It's all about the tiny little nuances of her performances. Seeing how she feels about any one particular moment doesn't need her to do that much. I think you would see much less if she was doing crazy things and she had massive expressions on her face. Then the comedy is not coming from the character, it's coming from funny effects and that's not who Mog is. It hasn't become a commercial, it's become like a mini feature film. We have Rachel Portman, who's composed the music, who has an Oscar and I think three or four nominations. We were lucky enough to work with Framestore, who have an Oscar. The kind of nuances and touches that uh, the team at Framestore have brought to Mog have been just extraordinary. Seeing Mog go from initial drawings into a fully animated cat has been really exciting. You forget entirely that this is a CGI cat. It just becomes, it, it is Mog. She has literally leapt from the page onto the screen and you fall in love with her and enjoy her story. I saw a lovely bit of film where she, uh, she rolls over and it's extraordinary. It's wonderful to see. What's really important is that this thing has been done as a, a means of improving child literacy. Every single penny of profit from the books will be donated to save the children towards the work they're doing to improve child literacy in the UK. I mean, reading is such a huge thing for children, and so anything that can help that, I think, is terrific. And I thought this was a terribly good idea of Sainsbury's.